Hello, Lego fans. It's Bricks on a Budget coming to you with another video. And I got a review for the Lego Sonic the Hedgehog Knuckles Guardian Mech. Uh, set number 76996. Originally, I believe this was a $29.99 set. Um, fortunately, I was able to get this on sale for about $24. So, uh, all said and done, I really, really like this set a lot. I'm not crazy about mechs. Lego loves mechs. Sometimes they're done, um, for the most part, pretty poorly. Here's the box, in case anybody. Um, oh yeah, 276 pieces, if I haven't already said. And, uh, this is an awesome set. This this is a small enough set. You get Knuckles in it, and you also get another character named Rogue in it. I'm not really too familiar with Rogue, honestly. I mean, I'm sure she was in the games at some point, um, but I just don't remember um, her or her name for some odd reason. So, I don't know. So, at any rate, you got this really nice, beefy mech. Let's take Knuckles out for a second. There are a few stickers. He's got this little pilot area. It's got a little handle. You got a couple of these uh, big stud shooters right there. Stick some studs in there and launch them. It's pretty cool. I really like his fists. Have his. Um, knuckles right here like knuckles does so it's really fitting that it's knuckles i really enjoy the um color the black white and red um the colors really clash pretty well there's some gray and stuff in there too um amazingly enough they actually do make use of the typical um leg pieces these little corner pieces right here, but they beefed it up. They added two of them and then added extra pieces to kind of uh, beef it up so that way it wasn't so skinny. And uh, that looks a lot better in my opinion. They also did use some of the same pieces in here, but again, they added some extra pieces and beefed it up and they added this shoulder pad to help beef that up a little bit more um about the only awkward part is the seating up front um because the body itself is uh pretty thin but then once you get um to building the arms and get the arms put on there and the legs and stuff on there it helps really give that illusion that it's a lot beefier than what it really is got a lot of articulation um, the legs the arms all move on ball joints there's also these goofy little things right here also move on ball joints um, all said and done it's probably the one of the best looking mechs I've seen in quite some time it's all comes this also comes with this little side build of the master emerald which I don't really remember seeing this piece before um so i don't know if it was specially made for this or this might have come in other sets but this is the first time i'm seeing it and there's a couple little smaller uh emeralds in there that just goes right back on there and then you got this little build so that way you can just stick the emerald right there to hold the master emerald pretty cool um this is the only set i've seen that this big master emerald in um and then rogue even though she flies she's got this little mechanized kind of vehicle to fly around and harass knuckles with pretty cute looking character let me take her off here she got a little heart print on her chest, a little bit of print on her back, um, just plain white arms. She's got this nice little back bling, if you will. 
this purple wings really cool um specially molded uh head very cool looking minifigure she's got dual molded legs very cool looking minifigure very very cool that's rogue let's get into knuckles knuckles is has dual molded legs it's got a little bit of print on the back a little bit of print on the front nothing super fancy um, he's got a really incredible molded oh shoot um head see it really really well done i was a little worried about his hands like how they're going to do his hands and they actually did give him knuckles but it's weird because he still has lego hands see and what they did is for his knuckles they made this special piece with the knuckles on the end and see it's got that little uh stud if you will there and you just put it on his hand and you give him two of them so not unlike the wolverine claws if you will so very cool so that's very awesome so all said and done you get a couple small builds a big mech uh, you get two awesome minifigures, especially if you're a Sonic the Hedgehog fan. And uh, it's one of the best mechs that are currently on the shelves right now. This one will be retiring probably very, very soon. So I've been snatching up the Sonic the Hedgehog sets because there's just some sort of nostalgia that grabbed me. And my kid really enjoyed building this with me. And so I highly recommend if you see these sets. Um, You'll probably be able to find them on sale, maybe even clearance. And quite frankly, I would pick them up just because, especially if you're a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog fan. Um, you know, if you're not, you know, to each his own, I guess. But as far as that goes, if you weren't much of a fan, I don't think you would have watched this video quite this far. So that being said, um, this is Bricks on a Budget. Uh, please like, subscribe. Hit that bell for future notifications. I have a bunch of changes coming, hopefully soon, um, to the channel, to my videos. I'm going to be working on that continuously from here on out to bring some new changes to the channel and stuff. Um, so hopefully this should be one of the videos that I'm going to be implementing some of those changes to. So hopefully that uh, comes across pretty nicely. So at any rate. This is Bricks on a Budget telling you all get built. Thanks so much for joining us today, guys. Bye.